So in this next video, again we're looking at a set of source code to give us added functionality to our embedded system. Again we're looking at it in three sections, we've got our declarations and our libraries, we've got our setup function and then our main loop. Now the purpose of this source code is to get you connected to the Wi-Fi, so usually a hotspot on your mobile phone or your own Wi-Fi in your home. Okay. Um, so the libraries that I need are two Wi-Fi clients. Okay. Again, you can install these from the Arduino library. And then I've got to set up two, um, two variables, character variables, that are dynamically created. And one is my SSID, so what is the name of my network? So some sort of mobile hotspot, uh, Chris's iPhone or something like that that you'll use. And then whatever the password is. So again, the password of your Wi-Fi and your Wi-Fi name if it's at home. So you will change those, make sure you can keep the, the commas in to set up for your own device. And then usually we will run this code, we'll connect to the Wi-Fi at the very start when we turn on our embedded system. So that's why it's in the setup function. So again, we're displaying some data to the serial monitor at a particular baud rate, and then we're running, we're utilizing a function within the, the libraries here to connect us to the Wi-Fi. So it's very easy. We um, connect on the baud rate, basically say we're connecting to some sort of Wi-Fi network, and then we call a function to begin to connect to the Wi-Fi using the network and the password, and then it will basically keep printing dots until it connects. It'll try and keep connecting every 500 milliseconds and then hopefully when it gets connected it will come out of this loop. So it's stuck in that loop until it gets connected and then when it comes out it says Wi-Fi connected, gives the IP address of the device or kind of your router that you're connected to and um, then it will allow you to continue on. Uh, there's nothing here in the main loop but your main code in there if you're checking sensor readings over and over again would go in here and then if you're pushing data with say an MQTT protocol, you would include that in there to set it out. But generally you need to be connected to the Wi-Fi first, so you would do that in your setup function. And as you can see, it's quite easily done because we're using these libraries. We just need to set some parameters and basically call a function to connect to it.